Hello everyone and welcome back to Stories the Path good. of Destinies. Alright, so we have uh, gotten Zenobia to trust us at least a little bit. And so we're here to find the proof. Hopefully this will go well like last time, otherwise we may never find out if we trusted her the first time. Yeah. So let's break stuff. Because you know that we've got to do that. Finding health is very good for us. Because our health is not 100% right now. It was definitely easier to fight inanimate objects. Alrighty. So. I don't know if this is the way that, like, will lead us to hidden stuff, but it feels like it is. But maybe it isn't, I have no idea. A green door. Oh, it's not green, it's just grey. It looked green. So I'm willing to bet we picked the wrong way. As normal. We can do this. I believe in us. Okay, we didn't get hit, so we got some perfect points there. I do like getting perfect points. Right. She caught up with him. Don't you think I know if my father started practicing black magic? Why? Would you want to join in? Oh, no. No, I destroy his books and... <sighs> All right, I suppose I wouldn't. She stopped, troubled. He ran on. So I don't think she stopped us last time. If I recall. Ha ha ha! I don't remember her catching up to us to before. Make a new sword. We still haven't been able to make the wind essence sword. I don't know if we can now. I don't think so. Um, but I really would like to get all of them before we start upgrading because that allow us allow it will allow us to get more ore because we can get to all the secret doors and stuff like that so let's just keep the scientists on, on this island had been investigating the emperor's dark ritual on their own they were neutral in the civil war engulfing the empire but they could see that the dark magics the old toad had loosed changing the world. Renata hoped he and Zenobia weren't putting them in danger. So yeah, we can upgrade our hero sword, but this is what I want to do. It's gonna take a lot, so we're gonna save up for it. Okay, then. There was an inscription. Praise the sun. Oh gosh. I think that, that definitely hit me. So we just gotta stay safe. Which I am not the best at. I feel like that. I, I failed. Just a bit. He was sort of yanking his own shape. What are you? Boy, some people were just liable to explode if you upset them. Oh Jesus, watch out for explosive ravens. Okay. Why am I not moving? I don't even know what happened there. I just stopped. Why you shall not pass. <laughs> well, he's gone, but our health is now terrible. All right, we just gotta, you know, keep on keeping on. We have 24 health, which I do not like at all. 
So I don't think we're using the explosions to our uh, to our our advantage, but at least we're not getting hurt. I'll take that. I would not mind some health. This chest smelled kind of funky. Yeah, he hoped he didn't get it in his clothes. Why would the chest smell funky? I, mean, I guess that ore could have been in there a long time. Alright, so I like that, you know, things are changing as we continue onward. Oh, but here we go. So, Zenobia should catch up to us again. Because it's on fire, and this is where the scientists the observatory were. was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens had taken care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared around, shocked. The scientists had been neutral. They had no part in the rebellion. Take me to your council, she said, shaken. I have things to tell them. It was what Renardo had gambled on. The Zenobia would turn against her father once she knew his madness. But the rebel base was secret. Could he really risk Unfortunately, we are risking it. I still, I still don't like it. it. All right. I'm gonna take her to the base. Renata reached Lapino by far speaker tone. The one creature the Ravens had left alive at the observatory. I'll meet up with you at the base, Lapino said through the toad. Good thinking. Renata gave him the coordinates. There's a shuttle here I can uh, borrow. Renato found Zenobia in the chart room. I've been having awful dreams, she said. Dead kittens and oh, worse. I thought there were only dreams, you know. Why would anyone want the lost gods back? In those days, the favorite of a god could become immortal. She held herself and shivered. He wants to become an eater of souls. Well, I'm not afraid of dying. Just tired of boredom. <laughs> Renato said, but she didn't laugh. Silence fell as they flew towards the ruins of the city of Ubar, where the rebellion leadership was hiding. If Zenobia couldn't help them fight off her father, no one could. So we're going to see if this was a bad choice or not. I really hope it wasn't, but hey, we're, we're going to get to restart the whole thing again anyway, right? So we've actually never been here. This is going to be all new and exciting. As they touched the ground, you could smell the raven and hear their hungry caws in the distance. They're probably looking for me, she said. You go on ahead. She had that fiery look in her eyes that he'd always loved. It was a bit odd, though, how easy she'd been to convince. It was what he'd gambled on, but he'd expected more of an argument. She'd always loved to argue. She considered it the fastest way to the truth. Maybe she'd long suspected the truth. Sometimes all it took was taking the bandages from your eyes. That must be it, he told himself. Let's smash everything. Sure find something useful in one of these things. I found ore that is useful. Just saying. So we haven't leveled up yet. We haven't leveled up in a while. Um, but. So I see a chest down there and I want it. Granted, I have no idea what's behind that door. Ugh. This game, it's so difficult to figure out which way you're meant to go. Because you can't move the camera around. Okay, so this was the way that I wanted to go first, for sure. Glad we came back. Well, no sense collecting more materials. It was time to make something pointy. No. It's not time yet. We need twice as many void essences and like nearly twice as many ore. So 
just calm down. Calm down, Mr. Narrator. We're gonna get there. This is my game. I get to play it how I want. That was one of like the shortest little platform rides ever. Oh no, food can just fall off the edge of the planet. A chest over here. Renato is bored with his old sword. Oh, hey, a crafting bench. No, Renato, get over being bored. That worked. And now we can level up. Even though it hurt me. So that that's not fun. Those ones are gonna be really hard to perfect if if they can hurt me. You try it. You're hooked. So we can't go through the void door, unfortunately. We can go through any other kind of door, just not void doors. Okay, there was an altar. Here it was. But we didn't level up. We must have gotten really close then. Okay, let's go this way and find out where it takes us. I mean, because we're pretty much Renato at the didn't have vertigo. Oh, I see a chest down there. Flickety fluke. But hey, I can go in here. Okay, but I have the sword. How is that the wrong sword? It's like we have the fire sword. We got it on purpose. Oh gosh, another thing? Or we can just teleport. Oh, there's another... Oh, no, that's an open chest. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Ha! Ooh, sparkly, thought Renato. Okay, so that's a level two of one we already had. I'm all for that. Let's head back. Okay, so it brought us back here. Um, so now we can go down here and get this chest up. Oh, we will be able to. Okay, come here. Give me that. Okay, we're doing terribly. Give that to me! <laughs> it just took a really long time to get his shield, and now we're doing terribly. So hopefully that'll be... Okay, yeah, we were just really close to leveling up. They caught their breath under a ruined arch. It's beautiful, she said. This was the library of Uba, he said. Your father's ravens thought they had an ancient book. She nodded. Was she crying? This was exactly what I wanted, Renata thought. To turn her to our cause. So, oh, why do I feel that something is terribly wrong? Because nothing ever goes this smoothly, is why. So she's crying, but I mean, like, she has reason to be upset. We've convinced her that her father wants to kill her. Just pointing that out. What's over here? I feel like I need to leave because they're both gonna turn this way. Okay, never mind. Just gotta get rid of them one by one. These things could really use a hand. So I don't know if we want to activate that if we uh, have not killed everything. Probably don't. But I don't know. Okay, they're all dead. So we can open this gate. So we probably didn't really need to kill everything. Oh god, now we can't escape. Alright, 
if slow and steady wins the race, right? We just gotta make good choices when it comes to when to attack. That kind of worked out perfectly. As for the gate, well, he could take her or leave her. Sorry, it's best I could do. All right, so here we go. Walking down a giant staircase. Looks like we've got a water door over there. Oh. Okay, we got more incoming. Great. That's just what I love. Okay, well, the shields are gone, but now my health is like shit. Oh my god, I'm so lucky that I did not die, like, right there. So let's just... There we go. So I think, you know, if we upgraded a sword, we'd probably have better luck um, with killing enemies before they can hit us, because we're having some trouble with that now. Which is probably partially my fault. Should probably use our power more often. Hero wall. Hero sword. Ice wall. Ice. Cube. Ice sword. I have one of those. Let's hope for some health in these. Got some health. We'll get the chest in a second. Okay, no, apparently we're gonna get it now. Okay, or is nice, but health is better. Oh, the right, health right there. could really give you an edge. The wrong, well, it still looked pretty, didn't it? All right, let's go. This is probably the rebel base. We're gonna see the rebel base for the first time. Oh wow, it's a very hidden secret. Council Toads swarmed around Zenobia, shocked she was there, shocked she had changed sides. Then the walls exploded. He heard Toads croaking, Oh, the ravens! Black yep, Bears that's what I thought. through holes everywhere. It's a trap! Cried the council speaker. In the confusion, he saw flashes of magic. Then Zenobia being hustled off by Imperial troops. So... She had betrayed him after all. Renato ran for his ship. The Farfarer flew into the clouds, barely losing the Imperial Ravens pursuing him. The rebellion was lost. And he had lost it. There was nothing to do but find Zenobia and make her pay for her treachery. His heart ached. He still loved her. But he had trusted her and he had been a fool. She would be back at the fleet. Gloating with her mad, bloodthirsty father. For all Renardo knew, she was helping him bring back the old lost gods back from their exile. Yep, okay. So that was a second ending, I, I'm assuming. So we kind of know what's, what goes down with Zenobia now. Um, she either kills you and you kill her. Or no, you either kill her and then get so upset that you go to fight the emperor and die um or she betrays you at the rebel base Renato landed in the middle of the imperial oh. fleet or keep the it rebels go. were losing badly without leadership it was a slaughter Renato okay. felt strangely free trying not to think about how he had lost the war trying not to think about how he had loved Zenobia blinded himself to her treachery all right so I don't I think we have a lot more a here hero. To keep on fighting after the most bitter of betrayals. To never know if you could trust anyone. Cats. What a waste of fur. So I think this is like the end when we were going to see like the Emperor in the last one. Oh, we have to kill Zenobia. Let's 
void door so we can't go through it. But here we go, we can use this. I would like some extra health. Um, although we should see like what the others are. Slow down time after successful attack. Increase maximum stamina. Cool. Wish I could do that. Yeah, let's just increase our health. It'll really help us out. <laughs> I had a feeling something was over here. So this video might be a little long, but I kind of want to get to the end of the story. Um, because it's fun, and then next time we can start our next story. Alright, let's just- oh, I thought there was more places to run over there. Give me that. Okay, we just need to get better at, you know, blocking their attacks. Uh, whoops. Alas, they had to bury him in a bucket. Actually, several buckets. We died to an explodey. I don't like dying to explodies. Okay, so does that mean we haven't gone over here then? Nope, nope, we have okay. He wished there were more pylons he could use the hook on. He really needed to construct mm. additional pylons. That's a computer science joke, if I recall correctly. I am not like the most learned in in that regard, but I've, I've heard that before. The constructing additional pylons thing. Okay, I want I want to just get out of there. Okay, I didn't like leaving this guy for last, but like there was just never a good time for me to grab the shield. A lot of times when I do that, I get hurt. Okay, so this looks a lot like something we have seen before. Not have felt a little better. So instead of going to kill the Emperor, we're going to kill Zenobia. Will we succeed? I mean... Who knows? But at least now we know what happens with Zenobia, no matter which we choose. You know, you, you can't... can't make her choose you, it would seem. So that's, it's just unfortunate. <laughs> Renata had been the terror of the sandcastles when he was too... So... We're just gonna see what it says at the end of this one. I'm really curious. I am really enjoying this game thus far. Um, we'll have to see what the other tracks, you know, lay, lay, lay out for us. So, dashing is a very good thing. So, it looks like that shielded guy went in there and maybe died. I think it was a shielded guy. So, let's get some more points. Another void door. I want it so much. The void sword seems to be like the most important one. Ah, <sighs> that's not good. Okay, well, oh, Jesus. Great, like, I just really want to kill, like, this guy. Yeah. Because he can do an awful lot of damage, which I'm not a fan of. No, thank you. Alright, good thing we got some health up here. And do we have health on the other side? This is just a little fireball. I don't know what's going on with that, but hey. We're gonna kill Zenobia. Balaleka lessons with an address. Wow, advertising. Uh, I think I moved myself right back into the explosion, which I did not want to do. Yeah, taking the shield almost always gets me hurt. 
Alright, just gotta keep interrupting their attacks. Alright. I got an achievement called Combo Breaker. I don't know. I didn't break my combo there. To turn it into something he could use. I mean, I got a really high combo. I'm confused. What had happened to Lepino? Had the mad rabbit fled to safety? Or was he forlornly carrying on with the few rebels Ronaldo could see here or there? Oh, it didn't matter anymore. All there was was slash and spin, parry and lunge, over and over as he fought his way across the fleet. All there was was finding the girl he'd once loved, who had used his love against him and putting as big a hole in her heart as she'd left in his. Come on, I want, there we go. It's like, just let me get over there. So I don't think there's too much left. Then we'll kill Zenobia or fail. I mean, we failed with the Emperor. All right, we have the ore we need for the Void Sword. We just need three more Void Essences, so. All right, let's just get out of there. There we go. That did not work. We're nearly dead, which I don't like. Okay, just, uh, just, uh, hold on a second. There we go. We have, like, no health, but that's okay. We're gonna beat them anyway. Right? I hope so. I really don't want to have to do this again. It's really not very fun. Come on! There we go. Oh, gosh. Where are we going now? I don't remember how many boats we had to fight across before. It's probably a lot. Um, okay, so where this looks like the end. Yeah, this this looks pretty final. If I did say so myself, it's just a different. Like we're going to a different door because I'm assuming we're on Zenobia's ship this time. Oh god, no. I'm not sure I'm ready for a fight. Buffed ravens are very dangerous. Okay. Well, we learned about that. Oh gosh. So we cannot get hit here. We need to take this like extra frickin' careful. Okay. Let's try and break them up. Dang it. I got an achievement for that somehow called Paleontologist. I was really trying not to take damage there. Ugh. We've got to be so close to the end. We've got to be. It didn't even ask me if I wanted to restart. It just said continue game. To fuck? What's going on? Is it going to make me do the whole ship thing again? Because if so, we're just going to do that next time. This video is long enough. Yep, yep, it Ronaldo is. Landed in the middle of the Imperial fleet. All right, well, we are not doing this again. We're going to do this next time. So if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.